so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem number of distinct subsequences so let's read the problem statement out so we are given a string consisting of lowercase english alphabets the task is to find the number of distinct subsequences of the string the answer can be very large so output it modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so let's say this is my string s which is gfg so the output for this is going to be 7. Now the 7 distinct subsequences for this is going to be empty string G, F, GF, FG, double G and GFG. Right. The expected time complexity for this problem is going to be order of length of string and the expected space complexity is also going to be order of length of string. So for a string of length n, we can generate 2 to the power n subsequences. Out of those subsequences, we need to find the distinct ones. And since the answer can be very large, we need to output it modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So let's discuss this problem in more detail. So let's say my string is gfg. Now, in order to obtain all the subsequences, for every character you have two choices, either to take this or not take this. So let's say initially my answer or my substring is going to be empty. Now, for g, I have two options, either to take this so let's take g or we don't take g right now we come to f now again we will be having two options either to take f and we don't take f right so when we don't take f it will be only g now we come to g we again have two options either to take this g or not take this g right so here we had not taken f so we will be having this and we are done now here we had taken g and here we had not taken g so now this will be empty only we will be having two options for f so let's take a f right and we don't take a f so this will be nothing but empty string now once you take f for g you will be having again two options so let's take f g right and let's don't take g so it will be nothing but f only now for the empty string when you come here you will be having two options either you take a g and you don't take a g right so in the end you have all the subsequences you can store that in a set and you can return the length of the set or the size of the set in this way you can get the number of distinct subsequences because you know a set or a hash set stores the unique count so we can get the subsequences by that but this is a brute force approach and in this recursion will be used right so overall the time complexity for this is going to be 2 to the power n and since we can have all the subsequences as a unique subsequences so total number of subsequences is going to be 2 to the power n we will be storing it in a set so the space complexity is also going to be order of 2 to the power n but now we need to optimize this so you know in order to optimize the recursive problems we take the help of dynamic programming right so we need to apply dynamic programming here now we will see how can we apply dynamic programming to this problem okay now let's take my string as gfg now we will be having one option always to take that empty string right so we will be initializing our dp of 0 like we have not taken any string for now this is going to be 1 because i have one way to pick the string right which is the empty string that is going to be your base case now when you are at g right you will be having two options either to take and you don't take right whenever you are at any index i your dp of i is going to be nothing but 2 into dp of i minus 1 why i minus 1 basically this will be stored at dp of 1 right so our length of the dp array will be nothing but n plus 1 we use the 0th index in order to store the base case so dp of 1 is going to be nothing but 2 into dp of 0 right because here in dp of 0 we stored the case of the empty string now at dp of 1 we will be having two options whether to take this g or not take this g right 
so you will have always these two options right so this is the one condition but according to our problem the characters in the string may be repeated so in order to tackle this we will be taking the help of a unordered map if it would have been written like we will always be having distinct subsequences which may or may not be possible so in case of always this would have worked but here characters can be repeating or it can also be case like you get a string like this so anyway you can generate gg from here okay or you get a g so you can again generate a gg right so let's see how can we take the help of a map so whenever you encounter a character just store it index in the map so let's take our string is triple g so we update the character of this g in the map as zero initially right and when you go to this g your dp of index 2 is going to be 2 into dp of 1 so here pe hamara dp of 1 kya tha that will be 2 so it will be 4 right now for this since it has already occurred right we need to handle the case so that we don't take a same subsequence right so we need to delete all the subsequences whose who can contribute to the repeating uh, subsequences so for that we can have the last stored index of this g so let's say my index i can easily get using the map so i can get the index let's say my current character is ch right the answer for this current index will be stored at dp of index minus one right because we are following the one base indexing okay and we will delete it from the current iteration right so you get the distinct subsequences out of this and we can update our dp of 5 to this so these will exclude the cases of the subsequences which are already occurred and we can take a modulus while doing this and since there is a subtraction also so it's better to add a mod because if let's say this is large okay so it might be the case like we get a negative so this will handle our case right and in the end we can return our dp of n okay so i hope you have understood the problem basically what we are doing we are storing the characters index okay so let's say g has already occurred so we are storing the index of g now for any character i know whatever be the possibility before that i will be having two options if i include that character so my dp of that current index will be 2 into whatever be the previous dp okay so we have done that but we need to exclude the cases for the characters which has already occurred right so for that we will be like first of all calculating the index okay let's say kuch aisa tha so yahan tak hai na aur let's say fir se yahan pe a aa jata hai to yahan tak jo bhi hamara dp aaya hoga right wo hamara kahan pe present hoga dp array mein kyunki dp of 0 hamara null or empty string ke liye store kar raha hai to wo hamara present hoga dp array mein index minus 1 pe right let's say इसका इंडेक्स तो हमें पता है कि ये यहां पे अकर्ड किया होगा ठीक है यहां से हम लोग वो वाला आंसर निकाल लेंगे एंड हमारा जो भी करंट डीपी होगा ठीक है वो तो प्रीवियसली हमने कैलकुलेट कर लिया बट वी नीड टू एक्सक्लूड द केसेस सो वी विल बी सिंपली डिलीटिंग दैट ओके एंड सिंस देयर इज अ डिलीशन बेटर टू ऐड अ मॉड एंड टेक अ मॉड सिंस द आंसर कैन बी वेरी लार्ज एंड इन द एंड सिंस वी आर एट दिस इंडेक्स नाउ सो exclude all the dps from here for the repeating characters only and update the index in the map and you can return dp of n so in this way what we have done we had taken a dp array so that space complexity will be maximum order of n and the time complexity is also going to be order of n because 
वी आर सिंपली आइट्रेटिंग ऑन द स्ट्रिंग ठीक है सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द प्रॉब्लम बेसिकली टू केसेस राइट एदर टू पिक और नॉट पिक सो वी विल बी अपडेटिंग डी पी ऑफ आई एट एवरी इंडेक्स एक्सक्लूड द केसेज विच कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू द रिपीटिंग सब्सिक्वेंस राइट एंड इन दिस वे यू कैन टेक अ मॉड एंड वी विल गेट आवर आंसर इन अ ऑर्डर ऑफ एंड स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एज वेल एज ऑर्डर ऑफ एंड टाइम सो लेट सी द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो बेसिकली वी हैव टेकन अ मॉड विच विल बी नथिंग बट टेन टू द पावर नाइन प्लस सेवन एंड विल बी एज डॉट लेंथ एंड वी हैव टेकन अ डी पी आर ए विच विल बी हैविंग अ साइज ऑफ एन प्लस वन एंड फॉर द लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग एंड प्लस वन सिंस वी स्टोर द बेस केसेज एट द इंडेक्स जीरो जनरली now we will be taking an ordered map we can also take a map but an ordered map is efficient okay now we will be iterating for all the n characters we can get the character ch equal to s of i minus 1 because i is starting from 1 here now dp of i is going to be 2 into dp of i minus 1 because we will be having two options now we will check if that character has already occurred then it might contribute to the repeating subsequences so we will check if that character has already occurred so if it has occurred already it will be contributing to the same subsequences so we will calculate the index of that using mp of ch right and we will be deleting all the cases or all the subsequences which can contribute to the same subsequences and we have taken a mod in order so that our is answer remains in the range and we will update our last position of the character and we can return dp of n so i hope you have understood the implementation if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video and share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys